It's essential that English learners know about what's going on in English language around the world. For the simple reason that English is not a single variety. It's a conglomeration of different varieties, dialects if you like. There is British English, there is American English, there is Australian English, and so on. Now, these different varieties of English are different in the sense that there is different vocabulary, different grammar, different pronunciation, different strategies of discourse. And one of the biggest problems affecting any language learner, and indeed any language teacher, is which variety do you teach? And what happens when you teach one variety and the student comes up to you and says, but please, teacher, I've heard this yesterday from a native speaker of English. You told me that we don't say this and it turns out to be an American usage or an Australian usage or something like that. The more the student can become aware that these variations exist, the better. They will learn one variety of English as their primary mode of communication, of course, but to know that there are these alternative ways of expression is absolutely essential, otherwise credibility disappears from the classroom situation. Now, the thing that's happened over the last 10 or 20 years is that a once clear scenario of British English versus American English has been complicated by the arrival of other forms of regional English from around the world. Australian English, for example, New Zealand English, South African English, and so on and so forth. And as a result, um, the, the teaching situation has become more complex. There are more variants out there now which the student really ought to be advised about. Now, you can't teach everything, but the very least you can do is warn the student that these variations exist, explain why they're there, and in other words, give the student a general sense of what's happening to English as a global language.